Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for hashtag 365 days of lippies. This is my review of August lippies. No, September lippies. My review of September lippies. And then we get to pick October lipsticks. How is that October? Oh my gosh. And then I show you what they are. Now, I usually swatch all of the September, well, not all of them, but most of the ones from September, which I will definitely do. I am doing this video about a week early. I'm trying to get ahead of schedule and I'm actually doing a pretty good job. I have a guest coming to stay with me next weekend. So that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get ahead. And I'm also trying to get ahead in preparation of going to Hawaii at the end of next month. So I actually have used all lippies except for one. There's one lip gloss that I have not used yet and it is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude like liquid lipstick in the shade Major. So it's this one here. So I will just put this into my bin for next month. We'll still pick 31, but this will be, I'm, I'm like I'm seven days early or six days early. I think I have six extra days uh, I'm filming this on the 24th. So yeah, we still have an, and it's the, it's like late in the day. So I've already worn the lip. I'm actually wearing one of the lippies right now. So I'll wear this between now and the end of the month. It'll get used, but I did, I do have that one left. Another housekeeping note. I do have a drink. So I have had a very stressful month work-wise. I have a somewhat stressful job. <sighs> Even though I work from home, it's still very busy and stressful. Anyway, I had a big like project presentation in front of a freaking 200 people that happened today and it's done. I'm so happy. You guys should be proud of me. I wore a red lipstick. Power red. I wore a red lipstick. I wore Pat McGrath Elton. I think that's the shade name, right? Elton with this makeup look. So anyway, I'm enjoying a cocktail because that thing is over and I'm so happy. <laughs> mm. So this is going to be an interesting video, potentially. Okay. Let me share with you the lipsticks that I loved and there are a lot of them. This was a really good month. I was a little skeptical at first because there were some that I was like, I don't know. Like this one, I wasn't sure that I would love this one because whenever you look at the bullet, it looks like it's going to be super metallic, but it is really pretty on. I'm very surprised. So let me go ahead and share with you the one I'm wearing. Where'd it go? The cats are obviously not here. Let me hide this eyesore. So the one I'm wearing is the Mary Kay, I think creme lipstick in the shade Hibiscus. This is really pretty. I mean, when you look at this, it kind of looks like iridescent metallic. I don't know. It looks really pretty on. Really pretty. It does not come off that super metallic that I thought it would be in the bullet. So I thought this would be a declutter, but it is staying. Okay, uh, I'll start kind of continue on with bullet lipsticks. The next one I have is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Color in Autumn Rose. This is Gore. Just, I love all of these. They're so pretty. Now I've panned this one before. I mean, it's it's a gorgeous shade. Gorgeous, love it. And if I have pictures of me wearing these, I'll throw them up here. Beautiful. I love like all of those that I've worn. This was really nice. I didn't know that I would love it originally, but if you pair it with the right eye look, it's really pretty. It's the Gucci Sheer Lipstick. I'm not gonna try to pronounce like the whole thing because I don't know, I can't do it. In Millicent Rose. So this packaging is to die for. I think it's beautiful. Vintage, love it. Here's the shade. It looks so scary. And even on the lips, it's very pink, but it's really pretty. I mean, if you can pull off that sort of pink, I love that. I thought it was really pretty. Break. Okay, this one has been a favorite for a long time. It's the NYX Butter Lipsticks, and the shade is Root Beer Float. I love this color so much. 
I have panned this one before as well. I don't remember what project I put it in, but it has been in a project. It is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. Now this one I ended up pairing with a different color. This is the Maybelline Matte Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade Lust for Blush. So it comes in this like lilac matte packaging. And here's the shade. This is sitting in like my go for the goal bin because there is not much left in here. So eventually it will go in that project. And I did pair this with, there's the shade. It's really pretty on its own, but it's a very cool toned shade. So I warmed this up with this. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Plump and Shine in Coconut Plump. So I think by itself, this color is a bit challenging for me to wear. It's very light, but mixed, it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. I love these. I love this formula. And these aren't like super, they don't make your lips like super pepperminty and tingly. And I like that. Okay. This is a liquid lipstick and I don't like liquid lipsticks, but sometimes I will deal with the dryness because of the shade. And there's a couple of those that are like that in this month. This is a brand I've never heard of before, but I got it in a boxy charm. This is by Half Caked and the shade, I think it's their lip fondants. It doesn't, yeah, lip fondant and the shade theme song. So here is the shade and then oh, it was so pretty on. It is drying. So I'm not gonna flip that over. So I did throw, and I can't, I couldn't tell you what I put on afterwards, but I did throw a gloss on. It was so pretty on the lips. I really like that. So I'm keeping it. I'll eventually, I'll find a way to wear it regularly. And then this one, oh, Wet n Wild. It's their cat suit, liquid cat suit and Rebel Rose. Oh, this is so pretty. I can't give this one up. It's drying too, but I don't care. I love it. And it, I may have thrown this gloss on one of them. This is by M Cosmetics. It's the True Gloss in Secret Blush. This is a really great color, a really great color. And I really do like this gloss. I'm just gonna put it up here. It's a really pretty shade. I may have even put worn this on its own one day because I wasn't sure about the color, but oh, it's really pretty, really pretty. I wholeheartedly approve. This Marc Jacobs Lip Le, Lamarck Lip Creme shade, the shade Kate. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Great fall shade. Great fall shade. I love it. When I first got that shade in the mail after ordering a bunch, when Marc Jacobs, everything was on like half off. I was like, I have never heard of this shade. Why? Why have I never, all I've ever heard about was Sugar Sugar and like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Slow Burn, but the, that is stunning. Mm hmm This. Wow. NARS Lipstick and Damage. This is already like in a project I have planned coming up. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. I freaked out when I put this on. It's actually a sheer lipstick. Wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Another balmy, balm product. It's the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipstick in Eternal Rose. I love this. I absolutely want to pick up another one of these during the Fall Rouge VIB sale. I don't care how much they are. I don't care. I know they're expensive. I love it. I don't care. Sometimes you just gotta go luxury. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Love it. 
Okay, this is the MAC Luster Lipstick in Capricious. This is gorgeous. I'm running out of room here. I have so many lipsticks that I loved this month. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. Mm, love it. Clinique. If you've never tried these Clinique Pop lipsticks, I recommend you giving them a shot. They're so pretty. This one is in Mocha Pop. I love these. I love this formula. Tati was right about these. Sometimes she's right about stuff. Here's the shade. I mean, this is really pretty. The picture I think I took of myself wearing this was a really bad picture. But, but this is a really pretty color. And all the ones I've tried of those are just been really nice. Really nice. Okay, I think I've been sleeping on nude sticks because this was phenomenal. This is the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in J Mama, a word as a lip product. Whoa, I freaking loved this. Holy moly. It was super creamy, balmy, loved it. Oh. I have another nude sticks that's like in my go for the gold bin and I loved that color too. This is beautiful. This one. Somebody, I think it was Jessica Lee said she, this color did not work on her skin tone. I loved this. This is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Creme in Barely Blush. I don't know if I think it was the shade. It worked on mine. You can send it to me. Don't send it to me. I don't need it. I loved this. Oh my gosh. It's right there. Oh, it's so pretty. It was so beautiful. I love this formula. I would totally buy more of these. More and more. This rare beauty like lip oil thing. Again, they, they don't put the name of the product on their, I don't like that. This is in Nearly Mauve. This was really pretty on, really pretty on. I would buy more of these. I don't remember there being more shades that I loved, but I didn't swatch them because I bought this when, and see, you can't really see it. I'm going to, I'm going to put it up here. I bought this when my niece in like March, when my niece was, was for her birthday and she just turned 13 and you know, she's just getting into makeup. <laughs> it was such a cute shopping trip, but I had, you know, I had never seen anything related to rare beauty before. And so the, the Sephora sales person showed these to us. It's right up here. So it's kind of hard to see. And recommended it and I was like I need that nearly mauve one and that is gorgeous I loved it okay I'm gonna have to go to this arm because I ran out of space the two from Colourpop the first one is Konichiwa I love it. Oh, it. swatching on this hand is a challenge oh it's so pretty it's so pretty. And I think Andrea had commented on this one. Sheer Peacocky. It's the sheer formula in Peacocky. This is an old one. So it's not it long ago disappeared from the website. I can't open it. It's really pretty too. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like the perfect amount of sheerness. Mm-hmm. And it's not patchy or anything. I mean, it looks really pretty on. Oh, I love that one. Two more, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I have the Love Me Lipstick by MAC and Laissez Faire. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great nude. Mauve leaning nude, but beautiful. So many good ones this month. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then lastly, I have the Hourglass Confession Lipstick in I Woke Up. I think this was a limited edition shade. So what, there we go. I think it was. I think these came in like packs. 
during the holidays one year and then it came back a second time so I picked up both packs because I loved this shade they need to make it permanent I think that's I could be lying to you could be lying hmm. I have zero declutters this month zero they were all great like I mean Papillon was great this is Papillon by Stila it's the Matificent Magnificent lipstick. I don't know. I can't read it because it's tiny. It's beautiful, gorgeous. You know, beautiful. This one was one I was thinking I may declutter again. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Berry Chic. So it's an old lipstick. I mean, it came as like a limited edition and I've panned this one too like I it was in a project for a little while but this is a sheer lipstick so even though it looks super scary that's what it looks like whenever you swatch it and it's really pretty so that couldn't go and oh where is it okay this one by Huda it's the lip strobe and angelic beautiful you put it on over a if you put on just enough over a liquid lipstick and just really nice it doesn't look super metallic you just got to put the right amount on it, that was really pretty same thing with this Mac lip glass in Nymphette but it's starting to separate, so I need to put it in a project. I'm going to put it in my thingy up here. So it's gonna go into my little little thing of like products that need to get panned. It's got a MAC like lip matte teen lipstick in there. It's got this gorgeous lip gloss from Revlon. It's got a butter lipstick, gloss lip, lip gloss. It's got this NYX lipstick in Thalia which I think may be close to going bad and it's got this have I tried this on I don't know maybe not anyway it's got a bunch of stuff that I need to pan eventually so I'm going to put this in here and then I also tried on this Mary Kay Nourishine lip gloss in Melon Burst and it was nice everything was great even this like Clinique Sweet Pot Lip Gloss. Zero declutters. They were all fantastic. I love them all. Okay, so let me take all of this off my hands. Arms. Off my arms. And then we will pick new products. I did load in my July lip products. Wait, no. No, yeah. Because it's September. I did load all of the July lip products that I hauled into my spreadsheet, so we can definitely get those in our selection. So let me pull my iPad out. I noticed in my last video where I was doing like Wheel of Names that I had the brightness up way too high. So I'm gonna make sure to do that or I lower it. So we're not like I'm not blinding you. So let me let me do this. So we're picking 31. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. I'm a little tipsy. Hmm. Okay, here's one. <laughs> MAC Lip Glass and Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. Giorgio Armani Rouge lips, uh, Giorgio. <laughs> Does anybody else do anything funny whenever they are like tipsy? I close one eye and whenever I'm drunk, okay. Giorgio Armani matte lipstick in kimono. It's number 502. Giorgio Armani. 
Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Crisis. <gasps> ColourPop Lippy Stick in Back Up. It's the Matte X formula. MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Posy Perfect. You know, what I was thinking is if I get a lip pencil, I, because I have so many lip products to get through, I think I may add it, of course, but I may like add additional lip product for it. Another lip pencil, a Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in Plum Rose. And the reason why is because you're going to put a lip product and then a pencil with it. That was kind of my thinking. Okay. Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in On Repeat. Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in New Romantic. That's a new Yay, a new lip product. Did I hit it? No. Buxom Full On Lipstick in Las Vegas. And I, like I said, I just updated this list. Hopefully I caught all the products that are like going into projects. Anastasia Belly Hills Lip Gloss in Blushing. It Cosmetics Pillow Lip Serum, Solid Serum and Wistful. That's a new one too. I got that during, I think it was the labor, no. Um, lipstick, National Lipstick Week at Ulta. Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Super Charged Lipstick in Good Jujube. NARS Audacious Lipstick in Angela. Can I make it straight? No. Lime Crime Lipstick in Bomber. Is that our first Lime Crime Lipstick? I only have like three or four. Maybe. MAC Lip Glass in Itsy Bitsy. Two lip glasses. Itsy Bitsy. MAC Lip Tensity. I said that very loudly. MAC! <laughs> MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick in Beetroot. NYX Butter Lipstick in Midnight Swim. I don't remember having that shade. Hmm. I'm going to check to see how many we've done so far. So we have 17, but we had two lip pencils, so we really only have 15. So we need 16 more. Yeah. Okay. Wayne Goss Luxury Cream Lipstick in Carnation. Do you guys like this process? I kind of like this process, but I don't know if you guys do. Like, do you like the suspense? Or do you want me just to show you what's selected? I don't know. Bare Minerals Loud and Clear Sheer Lipstick in Cherry Beet. Hmm, I don't remember. Lip sheer, not lipstick, lip sheer. Loud and clear lip sheer. I don't remember that product. Huh, isn't that funny? Hmm, no, because Jaylon, you have a lot of lip products. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Lip Pencil and Cat Fight. So that's three lip products, or lip, lip pencils. I'm over here like talking to myself. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Hot Chocolate. ColourPop Lippy Stick in Juju Rouge. Juju Rouge. I think that's how you say that. It's a matte formula. Hmm. 
Don't have any lipstick on my teeth, dry. I'm not doing that red Ma Maybelline business again. Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Surf's Up. Maybelline Color Sensationals Shine in Taupe Seduction. Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss in Cookie Dough. I think that's like the only Laura Geller lip product I have. I need a refill. Okay. MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in Burning Love. So I have 26, but I had three lip pencils, so that's 23. I need 21, so that's eight. I think that's right. <laughs> okay. Eight more. MAC Lip Glass and Counting Stars. Lots of lip glasses. Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Under My Spell. The question mark is I don't know if I have that because I couldn't find it during my last inventory or I didn't mark it during my last inventory. So we'll see, but it's a lip pencil so it doesn't like count towards, that's four lip pencils. We have a lot of lip pencils. Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Jilted. Revolution lipstick. Oh, Katie. Oh, my. Hourglass Girl Stylo in Achiever. I think that's the, that's the only product in that format that I have. Essence, this is nude lipstick in Brave, number 13. I have not been counting since I said we needed eight more. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't see it. Let me just look and see how many we have. We have, oh, we have 32, but four were pencils. So we have 28, we need three more. So the last one we had was Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine and She's Expensive. Mm. <laughs> color Splat, Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Escape. So that's one. Tarte H2O Lip Gloss in Room Service. Okay. And last one, unless it's a lip liner, which it's not. ColourPop Lux Gloss in Figgy With It. Figgy With It. Okay, let me grab these lip products and refill my drink, and I will be right back. Okay, so one of these is actually like a clear product you know, it's like a clear gloss, a, it's like a lip balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a new product because I don't include those in this project. So let me go back to Wheel of Names. <laughs> hmm. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. Okay, that's an easy one to grab. Kind of. Mm. Milan. Oh, it's right here. Okay, excellent. Okay, I just used this. <laughs> it's nice. It's a good layering gloss. I don't hate it. Okay, so I did make myself another drink, but I was too lazy to make a martini. Bailey's it is. <laughs> mm. It's so good. Okay, so we do have a... Like, it's like... Bullet lipsticks and lip glosses. And then a few like random things right in there. Okay, let me start with the bullet lipsticks. So we have one from Maybelline. We have the Color Sensational Shine Lipstick, I think, in Taupe Seduction. So it comes in this like super reflective packaging and, ooh, is this like a balmy product? It looks, it's like a balmy product. I don't usually swatch, but. It's like a balmy product, but it's like a bowl of lipstick too. Wow, okay. 
We have one little mini from Bite Beauty. This is the Supercharged lipstick. I don't know what this, like this came in like a, a holiday set. And then they never came out with these, this like formula. And the shade Good Jujube. Jujube? Oh. He got in his bed. Anyway. I don't, and here's the shade. Oh. <laughs> One from Giorgio Armani. Mm. Mm. This is the Rouge D'Armani Matte in number 502. I think this is like kimono. Oh, it's pretty. Two from Tarte, two color splash lipsticks, one in Escape. So here's the packaging. And here is Escape. It's a great fall shade. And Surf's Up. Ooh, yay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I have a couple from MAC, right? At least in bullets. I have the lip. Powder Kiss Lipstick in Burning Love. So it's like this matte packaging. And, ooh. And Sad Lip Tensity Lipstick, which is discontinued, in Beetroot. This is my name written all over it. Mm. <gasps> This was sitting in my back stock. I'm sorry, I'm swatching because I'm playtime and it's, I've had a few drinks. This was sitting in my back stock because I was, didn't, I have like literally just opened it for the first time and swatched it for the first time because I was like, I'm not going to use it until I'm going to wear it. And two from Urban Decay. One is the Vice Lipstick in Crisis. So these are now discontinued. Here's Crisis. And Revolution Lipstick in Jilted. I think this is really, oh, it's metallic. I used to wear shades like this all the time. That's pretty still. Okay. One from Wayne Goss. This is the Luxury Cream Lipstick in Carnation. So here's the bullet or the packaging. Oh, it's so, so pretty. One from Essence. This is the nude lipstick. Uh, it's a semi-matte in the shade Brave, number 13. So it's in this white packaging. I think this came kind of messed up from Ulta. But it's like $3, so I wasn't going to... Yeah, I think it came broken from Ulta, but it was $3, so... This is really pretty. This is from NYX. This is the Butter Lipstick in the shade Midnight Swim. So it's this one here. And this is very purple. So we will see what this looks like on the lips. From Lime Crime, I have the shade Bomber. So let me line this up. I only have like three of their lipsticks. I got this because of Cat from Beauty News. It's her fault. One from NARS. This is the Audacious Lipstick in Angela. Oh, it's not the shade I was expecting it to be. And the last bullet lipstick is from Hourglass. This is the Girl Stylo in Achiever. And I only have one of these. And here's the shade. I find these all to be very warm. And this was like one of the few cool toned ones. Okay, one like creme, matte creme product, matte product. From NYX, the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. So there is this one. This one looks way pinker than I think the packaging would, yeah. Much pinker than the packaging would. Liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, a cup, lots of, well, actually, let's do the uh, crayons. Let's do the crayons first. I have three. I have two from ColourPop. The first one is in Juju Rouge. Juju Rouge. This is a matte formula. So this is a very red shade. Make sure that it's not funky. There's the shade. 
it looks fine. That'd be really pretty. And then I have a matte X formula in the shade backup. Purple. And then I have one from Buxom. This is their full on lipsticks, which I think they discontinued these in the shade Las Vegas. So here is the packaging. And here is the shade. I have never used this one. It's very pink. And the rest of these are like glosses. I do have one balmy product. I have the It Cosmetics Pillow Lips Solid Serum in Wistful. So it's like this one here. And then here's the shade. I cannot wait to play with this. And then like literally the rest of these are glosses, which is probably good because I will be on vacation the last week of October. So potentially layering some of these glosses onto other lip products will probably be good for me because I'll be able to finish this prod, this challenge a little bit early in the month and I may be able to film it before I leave so that I can edit it while I'm there potentially, you know, I don't know, we'll see. I have the Dose of Colors lip gloss in On Repeat and there's the shade, it's so pretty. I have the ColourPop Lux Gloss in Figgy With It. I don't necessarily hate these. I know the ladies from Beauty News hate these, but I don't hate them. I have one from Bobbi Brown in the shade New Romantic. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have the shade Blushing. From MAC, I have three, I think. I think we got three lip glasses. I have, let me mix this up because it's kind of separated. As MAC lip glasses do. Okay, from MAC, I have this, this is a, there's two that are limited edition. This one is, I think, Counting Stars. I think this is what this one was. It's very hard to read the bottom of like the shade name because it's in a gold lettering on a clear sticker. Come on, Mac. Anyway, here's the shade. And this is from the Selena collection. This is Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. And then I have Itsy Bitsy. And this seems to be just a lot more like metallic. Okay, one from Tarte. This is the H2O Gloss in Room Service. If you want to see the difference between this one and Salt Life, there is not that much of a difference. But um, here's this one's Salt Life, and then this one is Room Service. So Room Service is definitely more purple toned, and Salt Life is uh, more neutral. But they're both mauve -y. I have one from Laura Geller. This is the Color Luster Lip Gloss in Cookie Dough. And here's the shade. I think this is pretty pigmented if I remember correctly. It's pretty. I have one from Patrick Ta. It's the Major Glow Lip Shine, I think, in She's Expensive. So it's this one. And the last lip product other than lip pencils is from Fenty Beauty. And it's the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Yeah, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And Hot Chocolate. And it's this one here. This came as like a pack. So I've never tried this one. maybe okay and then I have three lip pencils one of them the the one from Rimmel that I wasn't sure if I had I couldn't find so I have I will take that one out of my collection because I'm pretty sure that one's long gone I don't know what happened to it I don't know if it like was dried out and I threw it away or what the lip pencils that I have that I'm just going to incorporate into wearing these lip lippies in general. From Urban Decay, I have the 24 seven glide on lip pencil in cat fight. So here is the shade. From Bite Beauty, I have the lip pencil in number 88. And I can't, 
Plum Rose, I think is the name of the shade. And here is the pencil itself. I loved these pencils. I was sad that they got rid of them. I mean, I, I think they got rid of them because they were going 100% vegan, but these did not last very long, like on the shelves. These were nice pencils. I don't have a problem with wooden pencils at all. Nice one left. And the last one is the MAC Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil in Posy Perfect. So, I don't know about that one. That one's pretty light. We'll see. It could work. This is exciting. Lots of lip glosses though. But, like, I'm very excited about this, like this, which is been sitting in my back stock. I've never used it. This has been sitting in my back stock. I've never used it. This one is kind of new ish. Like I got it this year and I've never worn it from Urban Decay Crisis. Uh, let's see. I've never worn this one. The Maybelline Shine Lipstick in Taupe Seduction. This is a new ish lipstick to my collection. Not this year, but you know. Let's see. The It Cosmetics Pillow Lips. It's brand new to my collection. I really am excited to try this lip gl lip glass from MAC in Counting Stars, I think. This color is interesting looking. Kind of same with the one from Fenty Beauty. This color looks really scary, but on when I swatched it, it, it looks like it could be really pretty, especially for fall. Let's see what else is in here. I'm excited about, like I really think this is gonna be pretty. The, <laughs> the Butter London Butter Lipstick, the NYX Butter London, the NYX Butter Lipstick in Midnight Swim. That's a really pretty shade. Okay, this Burning Love could be really pretty. I'm a little concerned about my coming back from Hawaii with a tan. Well, you know what? I'll be trying these on before I go to Hawaii. It's just, those are the ones I'm most excited about. I mean, I, yeah, of course. Of course. And I, Wayne Goss, yeah, I want to try that. I'm excited about trying that one. This gloss is really pretty. Biggie with it. Biggie with it. I've tried both those tart lippies. I like them a lot. What else? Yeah, I think those are the ones I'm most excited about. I think this shade from Essence is going to be really pretty, but I'm sad the lipstick is broken, but you know, whatever. It's a $3 lipstick. I think that's, those are the ones I'm most excited about. We'll see. And Bomber. Bomber, I remember being really pretty. That shade is really pretty. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. Okay. New lippies. New lippies. I, I, this is my favorite time of the month whenever I get new lipsticks in to play with. Very exciting. Okay, so that is my update for my hashtag 365 days of lippies going into the month of October. I almost said August. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Uh, shush. Hmm. Well, hell, I can't remember. Hey, got those. What happened to the bed? Got those. Here's your favorite. It's starting to fall apart. I know. It's not your favorite. Your favorite's here. This one, one, this one, 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 one. <laughs> Bite Beauty and Moose Boo Supercharged. Supercharged. Bite Beauty and Moose Boo Super.
Oh, wait. <laughs> that is the first time that has ever happened on camera. Wow. By Beauty Amuse Booze. Shoot. Oh, I have to sneeze again. Not going to happen. Mac Powder Keys. <laughs> Keys, powder keys. It's <laughs> funny. Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine, and she's expensive. I said that really weird. Uh -huh. Patrick Ta Major Glow. Color Plop. Color Plop. Color Pop. Lip. No. <laughs> I have one from Patrick. Patrick. It's the Lip Shine in Major Glow. Wait. No. Yeah. She's expensive. But the lip pencils that I have that I'm just going to incorporate. Bye.